So we've looked at using follow actions in a sound design context to switch clips and create evolving soundscapes. Now, this example that I've got here is just a bit more fun and it's just showing you another possibility, another way to use these clips. So I've basically got a two bar beat split into individual beat sections. So we're going from top to bottom, eight beat sections. And you can see here that the loop brace is around each beat section. So the two bar loop is broken down into eight individual clips. The follow actions are over here. So you can see that they're flowing down to the next top to bottom. So if we trigger the first clip, the clips are gonna flow down to the bottom. And then when it gets to the bottom, it's gonna go back up to the top. So effectively, we're just running the loop in its original position. Now I can intercept at any point and trigger a different beat position. And this is being quantized at the top by the global quantize, and that's set to beats. So if I trigger the clip on the launch pad, it's gonna do so at the next grid position. So it's a really nice way to intercept the flow of a beat and rearrange it on the fly. And of course, we could record all of this down into the arrange or set up an audio track and arm it for recording so that we can actually record what we're hearing. So it's a very flexible system. I've also got some other elements here. These are just single clips and I've got these set up so that I can trigger these as well as the beat. So it's a great way to get a little improvised idea down. The one thing that I have done differently is with the vocal, I've set the quantization for the clip launching to the eighth grid position. So this allows me to do something a bit more rapid when I'm triggering stuff on the launch pad. So look, what I'll do is I'll show you here, we'll go to the first beat and we're gonna trigger everything. We're gonna get it running and I'll do a little bit of a, a live improvised vibe with this so that we can see the potential. So that's the concept, basically intercepting the beat that's playing at the grid position I choose according to this top to bottom list of clips that are basically subdividing the two bar beat into individual beat sections over eight pads. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.